Welcome back to the Chevy Florida Insider Fishing Report. We're over here at the CCA Workbench. Dave, products are our well, life. Well, I went up, you know, I went up to that Blue Water Outfitters uh, big tent sale they had about three or four weeks ago. Went up there yep. with Pat Deneen, and I brought back a couple of products from that that trip. Uh, Pat Deneen brought me these. These are the the, the nice uh, cobia jigs the boys up in Destin area are using. Those are hand tied by a fellow named Kevin Price, and he runs a, a shop called 86. 86 degrees, 30 minutes, Outfitters, on he, Facebook. He took a mold off of my head. Yeah, for that. it does yeah, look kind of like your head, doesn't it? doesn't it? It's nice and round. Yeah. And not very big. Fresh shaven. Yeah. yeah. Looking good, dude. Yeah, they are looking nice. I mean, you know, it, they come up to three, you know, he makes them up to three ounces or even more. They got a big double out uh, mustad, seven to nine on in it, depending on what size he uses. and. You know, those are beautiful jigs. Very I would, nice. I would use those even, even you don't even have to be sight fishing. You could take those offshore and drop them on a, on a reef, you know. All right. Well, this is some other, other jigs I found while those I was at that. Beautiful. That, well, as that, those I got at Blue Water Outfitters, these, you know. Uh -huh. um, they are beautiful. And they're little pompano jigs. They're made by a, a fellow who does, he's like 16 or 17 years old, Connor's Jigs. He might be older than that now. Um, but they're awesome. I, I, I had to buy 10 of them, you know, when I was there. And uh, I put a little fish bite on them, yeah. uh, little neon fish bites, and they. I, what are you catching I on? I whipped. I whipped the Neen's butt. I caught some uh, flounder and some little sea bass and Listen, all kinds Patty of stuff. Listen, Patty Pants can't outfish us. Well, uh -uh. you know, he, not not every day. He's pretty no good. Way. He's pretty good at red snapper on the fly, but I, I got him with the flounders. But those those Connors jigs are really good. You get them at Blue Water Outfitters in St. Joe. You know, he they makes a bunch looking. of different little head shapes, little yeah, sizes, yeah, yeah. and I love the little eyeballs on there. I don't yeah. know if those work better or not, but I think they do, so I just bought them because I liked them. Well, and I think everybody you know, 90 like percent of the lures catch the fishermen. Every, they don't necessarily well, catch the fish. They'll never catch a fish unless you buy it, that's for sure. That's right. They never so what do you got there. here, Dave? Well, you know, it's dolphin season, and, you know, these are a lot of chains and stuff by Tormentor. And a lot of times, you know, when you're out there dolphin fishing in, in this time of year, these are perfect little things to, sh to pull. This is the, the duster, which has a nice little duster on the end, you know, mm -hmm. rigged up, and that makes a nice little chain. It's got a now what color would you it. like, Dave? It prefer. doesn't matter what color I like. It's the one that the dolphins like, and we don't know. You know, they'll, they'll eat anything I put out there generally, so. It's the one. It's the color that you want to put out there. You, you know, know, you're just a so lot of guys, full of information. Well, tonight. a lot of guys will say, "Put out the pink." You know, I like to have the yellow. And <laughs> I tell you what, a dolphin will swim past all that crap and jump on something else half the time, or you well, never know is, what they're going to eat. It's going to be my color. Well, you, if you I like, like the, pink. You like the pink and the yeah, duster. I, I like the soft. I like the little softies. You know, the soft head lures, I, just because they pop a little more and make a little bigger, bigger. Uh, you know, the squid, the shrimp. I mean, yeah. always pink. Yeah. Well, whatever. Well, all right. Uh, these are from Fathom Offshore, and, and this is a, a lead dredge, dredge fish, you know, and, they, and what they'll do is they'll put some, uh, some rubberized stuff on here and some crystal to clear it, you know, on clean it dredge. up, and they'll yeah. put this on the dredge. That thing's Just, heavy. Yeah, it's probably about eight pounds or something, I don't know. But anyway, it'll get your dredge down, and it doesn't look like a big chunk of metal. Right. You know, a lot of times they're using all kinds of different little tricks, and, and that's one of them right there. And this is a, a, a flap teaser. Uh, from Fathom. But I like that it's two sided. So they do two sides. Um, the dark goes on the top. Well, and the white goes on the bottom. I would flip it around because you know if you're using you're using the bait fish's natural uh, coloration. If you if you run so it like that. So you're telling me the bait fish is I would white have, on his back and no, he's well if he's swimming with the white on his on the looking down the fish looking up will look be looking up against a white sky. I want to I want the dark side down. You so want when he the looks contrast. Up, correct. I got it. Because the bait fish, he's colored dark on the top so a bird can't eat him, can't see him. Right. And he's white on the bottom so the fish look up and can't see him. So do it the opposite and you'll you do know, better. You have totally made the workbench a fashion statement. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? It is. <laughs> I like it. Good job this week. No worries, mate.